lot of avid readers out there, so we thought that we'd bring you just a few books that we recommend for your summer reading. Better caught up with actor Rob Lowe as he was signing his memoir, stories that I only tell my friends. Now here's a few others that you'll definitely want to pick up. There's no place like home, and no, we're not channeling Dorothy. It's the title of a new book by designer Stephen St. Ange. Stephen gives us tips for decorating in an easy-to-follow manual of sorts, and he uses photos that he took himself, showing real families in their homes. It really was about giving people something that they could really use. I wanted a book to be something that was going to be something they could take with them on the road when they're shopping or when they're looking to figure out what they want their home to be. And uh, at the end of the day, I think we've created something that's warm and inviting, and it's attainable, and it's creative. And you're using real people in here. You yeah. shot all the photos. I did. I did all the photography and it really was about showing how I see things and how moments in a home can draw you in. The book is doing so well that Stephen tells us they're even talking about a second. It's really an exciting time creatively because the book is being received so amazingly well. Up next, Jim Randall, author of the Skinny Book series. Now, throughout his career, he's written about everything from the housing crisis to willpower to creativity and success, helping people get out of trouble and he's doing it all using stick figures. I need a life, but yes. <laughs> These are all about helping people maximize their potential and present it in a very unique format. As you know, it's not the same old, same old. No, it's yeah, right? well, it's primal. You know, hieroglyphics have been around 30,000 years and words 5,000 years. <laughs> right. So we're trying to do something visual and energetic and edgy and fun and entertaining, and mm -hmm. here it is. Jim's even got a new book called Street Smarts Beyond the Diploma. Uh -huh. You know, our educational institutions talk a lot about book smarts. This is about street smarts, about common sense Hello. and how to negotiate and how to sell and how to communicate all the things you learn in the school hard knocks right. in this book. Notice how thick it is. And finally, a book that talks about the rescue of Italian Jews during the Holocaust. Elizabeth Bettina's It Happened in Italy tells the amazing story of how she discovered a single faded photo taken in 1940. That photo led her on a quest to uncover the story of thousands of Jews saved throughout the Italian countryside all during World War II. Why did you feel it was so important to tell this story? Because no one knew about it. Imagine when I found a picture of the rabbi in my grandmother's village. Wow. And I'm thinking, what is a gr rabbi doing in a little village south of Naples, Italy? Mm -hmm. How did this happen? I never heard that story. Many Italians made a choice to help, even though they put themselves at great risk. It's a moving story that ignites the soul and highlights kindness and humanity during a time of horror. We took four trips back to Italy, and we took some of the survivors back to the villages so they can meet with the people who saved their lives or the children of the people who saved their lives. Elizabeth also told me she's working on a documentary that features Jews who survived in Italy. She's hoping for a 2012 release for that. We'll